In this video, I'm going to show you how rooms work and how you can manage rooms in a schedule. So I have two meeting rooms and a hallway set up here. I'm going to go ahead and place rooms for each. You can see when I place the hallway a room tag, it doesn't fill because there's no end walls, so I need room separators, as we've learned. Once I do this, it will create a room space there. So I'm going to call this meeting. Call this meeting. Call this hallway. So if I go to my schedule for my rooms that I've created already, I've made sure to add an area column or a field and you can see the areas. So if I go back to my floor plan and delete this hallway out of the model and go back to my schedule, you can see that it says not placed. This would occur if you had rooms in the project, you deleted them out or on different floors and you deleted them out and now you're ready to have your final project. You might have a bunch of rooms show up in the list that say not placed. You can delete them if you want by simply clicking on and hitting delete row and that will remove it or you could go into filter and change say the room number so that all of the not placed rooms that you wanted to maintain in the model you could call them X and number all of them X and then do a filter and filter out all of the rooms with room number X. And that would be a way to get them to not show up in your schedule. The nice part about this is, by leaving it in the model, is if I want to place hallway back in the model from its not placed state, I go back to my floor plan, and when I go to room, there's a button here. I can pick from the drop-down list all of the rooms that are not placed. So if I had multiples, I could pick it, and then it brings back that same room that already would have my wall, floor, base, ceiling, finish, parameter filled out, and it's just putting the room back into the model. So it's a nice way to manage um, pre-programming out a whole bunch of rooms, and then as you're shuffling the floor plan, deleting rooms out and putting them back in, you don't have to repopulate the model with parameter values if you use the tags that you've already filled out. And you can see that when you delete this out of the plan, this box pops up that says a room was deleted from the model, but it still remains in the project. So again, back at your room schedule, you'll see that it says not placed.